what the hell happened to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre? That's what we're going to talk about today as I give you my straight up opinion as to what happened with this game, why such the drastic fall off, also why my interests kind of died off in this game, and also is there any chance of this thing making a return? I'm going to talk about all of this stuff, and of course I want to hear your opinion after the video. What do you think happened to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Are you still enjoying it? Is there anything that could bring you back to the game? Even though I, I know the answer for a lot of people, I still want to hear from y'all. And of course, if you like what I do, consider subscribing. Let's go and get into it. So to be totally fair, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre kind of pushed my channel up over the edge. One day I just woke up and I was finally over a thousand subscribers and I kind of grabbed on to what people really liked and from there we did a bunch of texas chainsaw friday the 13th even some killer clowns and even some dead by daylight type of videos and other horror games and it seemed like you guys really liked it but texas chainsaw was kind of the bread and butter of this channel for a few months anyways but i want to start with what happened with the game first and then tell you why i lost interest uh, and, and one of the things that I will just go ahead and say right off the rip is I think their roadmap, their being gun, I think their roadmap to this game is absolutely atrocious. That's not to say that they haven't had planned content come out because they clearly have and they've gotten some big names involved into the game, but we never got a roadmap for the game and we still don't really have a roadmap even though it seems like they're 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 kind of implementing that. We've always kind of gotten these answers like, well, you know, if people are still buying the content and playing the game, then we will continue to support the game. Now, I don't know about you, but anytime that I buy a $40, $60, $70 game, whatever, you know, I want to know, especially for a multiplayer type of game, you know, PvP, PvP, VE, whatever, I want to know that that game is going to be around for a while. And while I truly believe that Gun thinks it will be around for a while, they still don't seem that convinced whenever you listen to some of their live streams. It's always like, hey, as long as people are giving us money, then we'll continue to pump some back in. And hey, they're, they're business people, right? They have to make money. And I totally understand that. And I'm not against them making money. And hell, I'm not even against... Uh, me giving them more money as long as they're giving us the content that we want and enough content to kind of keep things going in between their content drops. And what I mean by that is another issue with this game is there has quite literally been nothing to work for since launch, basically. Of course, you could earn skill points and you could build up your characters, but after that, you just kind of reach level 99 and then what? You could raise the level cap and then what? <laughs> you know, games and, and multiplayer games, yeah, they, they're fun, you know, when they first come out and everything's great because it's new, it's different, and they created one hell of a fun game with the Texas Chainsaw. But multiplayer games that are successful have you earning things along the way. So, again, it's not a direct comparison, but let's just take Call of Duty, right? They have all of these seasons. And that's why I use Call of Duty as an example. And I know it's it might be a bad one for some people, but just follow along here. When Call of Duty comes out with seasons, right, they have so many unlockables inside of that season that will keep you occupied for the most part until the next season. So even though there's not a lot that changes about that new season, they might come out with a new map. They're going to come out with a ton of new you know, aesthetics and characters that you can buy and paid and free content. And that's one of the biggest problems with Texas Chainsaw right there is not only has there kind of been a lack of content, but it's also just been really dry in between the limited content we're already getting. And while it's cool and I bought it, it still is not something that you can earn. And then the other piece of content that they dropped is new execution packs. Well, guess what? Those you have to pay for as well. Now, they did drop free content along with it. They dropped the shirtless Johnny. There, there you go for everybody asking for that, I guess. 
And then they dropped another outfit for Sissy. But at the same time, is that really going to keep people grinding in between the next little bit of content we get? I'm not sure. And with the way the numbers are going, I really kind of doubt it, to be honest with you. So a lack of content, a lack of things to earn. Again, games like Call of Duty, I understand it's totally different, but that's how they keep people engaged from season to season to season. Nothing really changes in between those seasons, except you might, you might have a different map, of course, but then you have so many different things that you can unlock. And hell, most of that stuff is paid for as well because you got to buy a battle pass. That leads me into my next thing, though, which is the restrictive amount of content that they're actually going to give us. What I mean by this is the fact that it is an authentic game. It is true to the original 1974 movie. And while they did a fantastic job of dropping Easter eggs and all kinds of little things in the game and making it one of the, I, I don't, in my opinion, one of the best movie horror games out there, it still limits them on what they can do because they want to make sure that they are going to be as authentic as possible. And in my opinion, when it first came out, that's really cool. But moving forward, you might have to stretch those parameters a little bit to introduce new things into the story, into the game, and move this thing forward. Some of the best performing videos I have on this channel are talking about the authenticity and the secrets inside of this game and all of that kind of stuff, which is just awesome. But again, you can't, in my opinion, you can't focus so much on that and let content just kind of fall by the wayside. And in return, you know, you're kind of letting the fun of the game kind of slip away in return for authenticity. But if nobody's there to play that game, it can be as authentic, you know, or the most authentic experience ever. And at the end of the day, it doesn't mean much if people aren't playing. It. Another thing that we talked about as a community is in-game currency. Now, with that in-game currency, you have to have things to unlock with it to make it worth it. And we talked about that and a lot of you guys love that idea and even gun has warmed up to that but you have to think on the surface that they they knew that this game was not going to keep people's attention just based on authenticity alone especially with the limited amount of content that we've received you know we have one new map in seven months they have another map that's coming which looks really awesome there's new killers, there's new characters coming, but they're always coming soon, you know? Again, if we had a roadmap and things to look forward to, a true roadmap, then we could actually plan these things out. But that in-between time, I believe, is what's killing this game. Now, to be totally fair, Gun has answered the balance issues of the game. And, you know, if you play victim in this game, you know that it's harder than ever to actually survive. And... They've made tweaks here and there, and it is now family-sided, which I'm okay with. That's how Friday the 13th was. You had seven other people fighting one guy, and they are different types of killers. I understand that, but when you survived in Friday the 13th, you know, it felt like an achievement, you know, and that's how this feels. If you survive in the Texas Chainsaw now, it feels like you really did something, right? You have to really try. You have to... You know, if you're working with a team, then you guys really have to coordinate. And that, to me, makes the game even more fun. So they've answered the call on, on a lot of the balance issues and, and things like that. And I give them complete credit when it comes to stuff like that. But on the other hand, I just believe they need to stretch those lines of authenticity or maybe just push the authenticity back just a little bit and introduce more fun elements, more unlockables. And I hate to even say this, even a, a season pass, right? If, if let's say we buy a season pass and it's $10, but there's 50 unlockables inside of that season pass or that season one or whatever, shoot, take the Call of Duty model. You're going to make money on top of it, but you're going to introduce so many executions, characters, skins, all kinds of different things, you know, different uh, uh, cut scenes and, you know, all, I mean, dude, there's so many ideas. I feel like if I worked at this company 
that I could come in and come up with a hundred ideas. And as smart as these guys are, I feel like they could implement those things and just keep people coming back. But they just won't. Or they're just so hung up on authenticity that they feel like if they just start bringing random characters in, that that's somehow going to hurt the game. When at the end of the day, this is a game, right? It's designed to be fun. So I don't know if there's a whole lot of explaining I need to do now as far as why I lost interest, but it's simply everything I just laid out, man. It's just not as fun as it used to be because there's really nothing to work for now. You know, I've spent 200 and something hours inside of this game. Uh, I'll call it 200 hours because Miss Hexshot has actually spent time playing this game too, which is cool. But, you know, it, it just is not the same type of vibe, right? It, it just, there's nothing to work for. I, I cannot say it any other way. So simply getting bored with the game. And we talked about Dead by Daylight too. You know, they don't, they dropped their first piece of content and it was, you know, what, three months. But the difference there is they're not tied to a single IP. So they can bring in Chucky and Freddy Krueger and Michael Myers and all of these great killers and all of the, you know, alien, whoever they want to. <laughs> and they can keep the game fresh indefinitely almost, okay? Whereas Texas Chainsaw, they, they're going to have to, in my opinion, they're going to have to break away from the authenticity, bring in new characters. You can tie them in any way you want to because, let's be honest, this game is set before the actual movie, but they're going to have to stretch that out. They're going to have to dissipate that line between authenticity and fun in order to bring new characters and stuff in. But I honestly, I believe that they can do it, no doubt, because the characters we've seen them bring in so far make sense inside of the game. They have motion acting for the game, right? Where, I, and I don't know how Dead by Daylight does it, but it seems like for the most part, all of their characters kind of move the same way, right? And so there's motion capture with Texas Chainsaw there's voice acting, and there's a lot that goes into it, and that I do understand. But that, to me, it tells me one thing, that the preparation for this game and supporting the game afterwards, to me, was more of an afterthought. Like, what they put into the game initially, incredible. But the support afterwards was more of like, well, let's see how it goes. But can the Texas Chainsaw Massacre make a comeback? Well, the short answer is yes. Will it make a comeback, though? To me, it's it's more of a, well, is Gunn going to introduce the things that we've talked about here to keep people interested, to keep them grinding in the game, and give us a reason to come back for more than just those periods where you introduce new content and then people go right away? Is it realistic to think that everybody's going to stay and you're going to have these incredible numbers from day one all the way through? No. But to me, with a game that's this good, I wouldn't expect a fall off this hard. But like I said, I feel like Gun and their preparation for post-launch has just been kind of atrocious and it's kind of been a wait-and-see type of approach and it definitely has not worked so can it make a comeback yes uh will it make a comeback i lean more and more towards the side of no but i hope i'm wrong love to hear from you guys down in the comment section do you think the game will make a comeback what will bring you back to the game if you think i'm totally off base or you agree let me know down below and again if you like what i do consider subscribing see you on the next one and as always Hold them down.